Broadcasting from the media studio at West Fargo High, this is Packer TV with your Packer News Team. Good morning, West Fargo High School. Welcome to the October 26th edition of the Packer News. I'm Cordy O'Rarick. And I'm Ben Phelps. Thanks for tuning in and here are today's headlines. Today, West Fargo is hosting a blood drive from 8 to 2 p.m. There are still a number of spots available to donate blood. We also expect, accept walk-in appointments. For those donating blood, make sure you have a photo ID and your parent permission slip if you are under 18 years old with you to sign in. To save time, please go to bloodhero.com and click on Fast Track Health History and answer the questions before you donate. MSUM is hosting a high school preview day on Friday, November 2nd. This event is an opportunity for high school juniors or seniors to tour the campus, ask current students questions, learn more about programs of interest, and other activities. Breakfast and lunch will be provided. The events will run from 9.15 check-in to a 2 p.m. departure. If interested, you must RSVP by Monday. Please see Mrs. Hirscht in the Career Center in room 120G for more information. Attention boys basketball players. If you are interested in trying out for boys basketball, sign up in the activities office. Ping Pong Club would like to invite you to come down to room 117E today after school. Drop by if you have a chance. All girls interested in trying out for the girls basketball team must sign up in the activities office with Mrs. Verder. Remember, all forms and fees must be turned in prior to the first day of tryouts. Tryouts will be November 19th, 20th, and the 21st. The first meeting of the Dungeon and Dragons Club will be Thursday, November 8th at 3.45 to 5 p.m. in room 202K. Bring yourself, your friends, and roll for initiative! There will be a brief Packer Pride meeting Tuesday during period 8 and after school in room 210H for those wishing to join Packer Pride. This club is open to all 9th through 12th graders and focuses on recognizing and rewarding academic achievement and positive behavior, as well as showing school spirit. We are in charge of Student and Staff Member of the Month awards, in addition to many other fun activities. Please consider joining our club. Treats will be served. If you can't attend the meeting, please talk to Mrs. Joyce or Mrs. Baltazar. My name is Braxton Brewer, and I'm the head of sales for Borderline Apparel. Hi guys, my name is Heisen Wynn, and I'm the marketing director for Borderline Apparel. We just want to let you guys know that our grand opening is today after school, so come on down and see all the shirts that we have to offer. And if you guys are wondering, it's $20 a t-shirt, so make sure you guys come down. And there's three different options that you can choose from, a maroon one, a black one, and the third one's actually secret, so make sure to come down for the big reveal at the grand opening. I hope to see you guys here. Okay, bye. <laughs> All of, Packer, all of Packers, please remember to bring in any donations you may have for Operation Christmas Child. We need small toys, socks, and school supplies. They can be placed in the box by 114E. We could also use cash donations for the shipping costs. Every bit helps. Thanks. Attention prom committee members. There will be a meeting Thursday, November 1st, period 1 and 8 in room 152C by the theater. West Fargo High School hosts so many clubs and activities. Here is Nathan Ambrose on why students should join different clubs and activities. There are many different clubs here at West Fargo High School, but different activities and clubs are for different people. Activities Director Jada Can thinks getting involved adds even more pride to being a Packer. Um, there's a lot of studies out there that say that students who are involved in co-curricular activities have higher graduation rates, um, they do better in the classroom, um, they, they have more confidence, um, you know, and so going into college and those types of things and filling out college applications, you know, they have a lot more experience um, being involved in, and being uh, uh, just an involved member of our school. The importance of being involved is not just being involved in athletics, but clubs also. Um, I think joining clubs is important and it doesn't really matter what club, 
um, but to join and be part of the group. Senior Alexis Wool thinks clubs and activities give students a chance to meet people they normally would not meet. It's a great opportunity to meet different people in the school that um, could be older or younger if you're like a, uh, an upperclassman and just like making new friends in different grades and meeting new like teachers and like advisors of those clubs. This is Packer correspondent Nathan Ambrose signing off. It'd be really good if they could join yearbook. I heard that's a great, because it's a great curriculum. Mm, broadcasting's better. Ah, if you say so. Thank you so much for watching the Packer News. I'm Cordy O'Rarick. And I'm Ben Phelps. Have a great weekend, West Fargo.